May the 4th be with you, a phrase that's become part of our pop culture to mark the official, unofficial Star Wars holiday. We thought it would be the perfect time for a throwback from a long, long time ago and a galaxy not too far, far away, actually. Our Carla Chiquetta joins us now with his story from 2006. <laughs> when the last movie in the second trilogy hit theaters. 2005. 2005. 2005. 2005. And, and, and it was the last of the prequels. It came out almost exactly 18 years ago. This month, Whoa. 18 years ago. And uh, when Revenge of the Sith came out, most people thought that was the end of the Star Wars franchise. Hadn't been purchased by Disney yet. I had mixed feelings. I couldn't believe that something that had been such a big part of my life for so long was about to come to an end. A long time ago, on an island far, far away, I saw Star Wars on my eighth birthday. I lived in Hawaii, but my head was in the stars. I was 10 when The Empire Strikes Back came out. It was much scarier than the first, but I loved it. By the time Return of the Jedi came out, I was 13 and entering my awkward years. So clearly, I had Star Wars. Then George Lucas took a break. In the time between Jedi and the next Star Wars installment, I graduated high school, graduated college, turned into a rebel, settled down, and had kids. <laughs> Through it all, I stayed a Star Wars fan true. But it's not like I've spent every penny of my allowance for 10 years on Star Wars toys and dress up like Anakin Skywalker for conventions. I mean, that'd be crazy. Right, Colt? Meet 19-year-old Colt Whistler, Anakin Skywalker to his friends. Born three years after Return of the Jedi hit theaters, he fell in love with the movies when he was five and never looked back. At the age of nine... Got myself a job mowing lawns and whatnot so I can buy as many Star Wars toys as I could. He's collected just about everything Star Wars, from action figures to Darth Tater. All my friends were opening them up, playing with them, but I was always, no, I want to keep them in the box. He owns at least 1,500 items, probably worth about $10,000 now. And after episode one came out in 1999, he took his fandom to a whole new level. When I saw his costume, the first picture of his costume, I instantly knew I wanted to make that costume. At 6'3", 210 pounds and a black belt, Colt cuts an impressive Skywalker. You try calling him a geek. He says his Star Wars fantasy is just a fun obsession. You know, there's a borderline area where you can find, you know, you have a normal life and you have your Star Wars life. There is crossover, though. The galactic wisdom imparted in Star Jedi Wars Knight can prove <laughs> useful on Earth every day. One of the things Star Wars taught me is to always trust my instincts. I also learned that my parents' idea of corporal punishment wasn't so bad. And as much as I practiced, I can't seem to master the Jedi mind trick. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. You will give me your place in line. No way. No, no, no. I don't care what you do, you're not getting Stan Miller's job. Dude, get your own lunch. A new Toyota you do not need. May the force be with you. Mind trick utility aside, the biggest lesson I learned from Star Wars was that my imagination could take me wherever I wished. Playing with action figures, lightsaber battles with friends, and dreams of traveling at light speed in the Millennium Falcon. It's a lesson being learned by a whole new generation. Proof that new movies or not, the stories and the force will live on for Star Wars fans one way or another for a long, long time. Remember, the force will be with you, always. I'm just going to say that, you know, I didn't get the place in line, but that, that whole thing worked in two of the other things, <laughs> <laughs> ultimately, and Jedi I still have trick. my Toyota. Your Toyota, and he did get Stan Miller's job. <laughs> <laughs> it just was a delayed reaction, ultimately. Yeah, see, we thought the series was coming to an end. George Lucas didn't plan on anymore since then. Yeah. Disney's bought it. It's yes. intellectual property. Yes. Uh, another, there's been another trilogy. There's mm -hmm. been two more spin-off movies, multiple series, and more to come. It is just something that keeps growing and growing and growing. 18 years ago. I remember when you did that story. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a, I, even, I even pitched that to our boss, Barb Richards, and she said, and okay, she's still sure, here too. fine, go ahead. Yeah, right? she is. 
series That's too. That's a longevity of us here oh, at TVSA. Oh yeah. and we did, I couldn't find the live shot. I didn't record it, but I was playing hacky sack with somebody in a Yoda costume <laughs> and another the, the, the other one in the <laughs> Sith outfit. It was just so Aww. much fun. We're so glad you got to geek out. On I this got May totally, the 4th. and I'm going to keep doing it every time they have a new one of these. So there you go. <laughs> Great. Go 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 now right, with your Toyota. I'll see you at 11. I'll see you at 11. Leave now. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Carlo.